This is the Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS. The MLRS is mounted on a tracked armoured launcher and has a crew of three soldiers. It's a highly automated, self-loading and self-aiming system. Over the past month on Salisbury Plain, 26th Regiment Royal Artillery have been gearing up for a new purpose on the battlefield, and that means getting to grips with their new kit. This system provides pinpoint accuracy, can fire 12 rockets in less than 60 seconds across distances beyond 70 kilometres, with each warhead carrying 200 pounds of explosives. As part of their move to the UK and into their new Divisional Fires Regiment role, 26th Regiment have swapped their AS-90 artillery guns for the MLRS and the Extractor 2 missile system. The AS-90 is a gun uh, the crews had come to love uh, and, and still would, I'm sure. However, all of those that have converted from AS-90 onto either Exactor or MLRS uh, have really enjoyed the conversion. It's a great platform to drive and operate uh, and, it's, and it's really good fun and I think they understand the importance of their role and the role of that new capability. 26th Regiment moved from Germany to Wiltshire this summer and although the MLRS is not new to the Army, it is to them. So what do the soldiers think of their new equipment? Probably one of the most manoeuvrable pieces of equipment that I've seen in my time, the way that it cuts around the battle space, you know, the way that the individuals and the operators and the soldiers move from tree line to tree line, cover to cover, is fundamentally important you know, to survivability. Um, so the chassis, when it was built, you know, absolutely just tears up and, and goes around where it needs to go. You know, with purpose as well. I think to watch something, you know, bang for buck with regards to how it operates and how it functions, and, and to see not so much target end effect, but to see effect down at, down at the engagement end where we are now, yeah, really, really good. And, and you have that level of reassurance, I think, to know that actually, from the whole targeting process, that the, you know, you're going to hit the target with a bit of devastation as well. We're using a practice rocket here, which just has an inert. Um, warhead in it so to speak uh, and that allows us to train in a in a in a in Salisbury plane where it's a little bit tighter for space and uh, an airspace. As exercise Congreve Spear comes to an end, 26 Regiment will soon head to the US where they'll fire their rockets for real. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe.